Bambi, DJ Bambi, um, and now you're Eva Shaw, which is your given name. What what made you go back to that? I wanted um, to have a brand that I could own. So like Eva Shaw, I can do whatever with it. If I want to make clothing later, if I want to do whatever I can, like I own the name. You decided to release Charisma. What what made you choose that? It's true. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> um, Actually, I think it wasn't like, okay, this is going to be my first track for any reason. It was really just, I sent it to Calvin Harris and he was like, I really like it. So I was like, okay, cool. And then the next day he's like, no, I really like it. So I'm like, <laughs> all right. And he's like, you know, I, I want to sign it. Fly at. So, um, so next, uh, your, your track with Hard Rock So Far, Get Down, it's, it's everywhere. Everybody's doing mixes of it and mashups. And how, how is it working with them in the studio? Um, I mean, we've been friends for probably a year or so, um, and I've just seen them at a lot of shows and clubs and we just started talking. And actually, they sort of, they liked that I liked really hard music and then they heard Charisma and they were like, it sounds cool, like, let's do something together. So, they were in New York and uh, I'm here a lot as well, so we just went in the studio and like, it just clicked really easily because we have, I don't know, I feel like we, we're different, but we also have like sort of similar style in a way. I'm a little more like Dutch kind of, I guess, and um, they're, they're really hard, obviously, so I don't know, we just, we had a lot of fun making it, and we did it in one day pretty much. Um, what do you think is the craziest or most thoughtful thing a, a fan has done either at a show or on social media? The, the weirdest thing, I think? anyone's ever done was uh, I was playing at Provocateur in New York and I was just DJing and then something hit me in the face and I was like what is this? Oh. It was a pair of men's underwear. <laughs> like I guess it's supposed to be like you know if you're a girl you can just throw your bra or whatever. Yeah. It wasn't really trying. That was really weird. <laughs> what is, who says you have the most fun? Um, usually people that I'm friends with so I mean I've had a lot of fun at, at Tiesto shows or Data Life or um, Diplo is are always crazy. <laughs> like the weirdest things happening. You're super super active on social media. I mean, I think everybody, your Instagram followers have I think quadrupled in the past couple weeks. <laughs> yeah. even. Yeah. Um, and uh, you've gone from receiving you know ten comments here and there, and now you're in like the hundreds. What um, do you get a chance to read through all of those? And, and what what kind of comments sort of like attract you to respond? Um, Your response is hilarious, by the way, because I like. It. I, like <laughs> I don't usually respond on Instagram. Okay. I read them all. Uh, sometimes I will, <laughs> depending on if I'm like out and then like whatever. But uh, I definitely read them all. Uh, I get some really weird ones. I actually I like the weird ones. I think it's funny. Cool. So what are some stores you like to shop at? Um, I don't go shopping a whole lot. Um, people send me a lot of stuff, which is cool. Um, and I. I mean, I, I come from a fashion uh, background, so I like a lot of designer stuff. I really like Chanel and um, classic stuff, so I'll mix like like the high-end stuff with like some vintage or like a new designer. If they send me a t-shirt, I'll wear it um, and then have like, a top bag or something, you know? So I kind of, I have like a, a variety of styles I like, but um, yeah, anything different, kind of unique. I, I, and, uh, when you have some downtime, do you like binge on reality TV or Netflix series or anything? I was just talking um, about this with some DJ friends. Um, I don't really watch any TV or movies or anything. Sometimes, usually, I guess the one thing that I, I would watch um, would be Saturday Night Live. So I'll, I'll sort of like watch a few in a row because I don't watch anything. Um, yeah, I'm usually working on music, so that's Saturday Night Live is the one thing that I watch a lot, and then sometimes it's good. Who's been your favorite guest so far? It's got a lot of good ones. I mean, it was cool seeing Drake on there because, you know, it's from Toronto, and I love Drake. I'm a big fan. Um, oh my god, so many. <laughs> Justin, <laughs> Justin Timberlake is that was phenomenal. With Jimmy Fallon, they're amazing. Yeah. Anything you kind of want your fans to know? Just about you in general or about what to look forward to this year? Um, I like, I mean, I always have really weird ideas, so I think I'll probably have a couple songs, like maybe a little bit later, that just kind of get a little weird. 
or um, I don't know. I just I, I like I like when fans are interactive. So I like um, seeing like when they make T-shirts or you know stuff like that. But I, I actually I really want to make like my own T-shirt line and just have like really weird pictures because probably know like on my Instagram I'm always posting like, really weird things. I'm always sketching things everywhere and yeah I just. <laughs> if you have any weird like drawings or anything, <laughs> I want to see.